tell you this, I am proud to be surrounded by some very proud Americans, but I do ask you to bear up as I open with the following question. Does anybody give a damn about East St. Louis, Illinois? I've been reading about you. I read about you in the newspaper. I saw you in 60 Minutes. They tell me your town is falling down. You're so broke, you don't even own City Hall. <laughs> they don't even collect your garbage. I read it in USA Today. Your police department has radios that do not work. And you just got a bailout from the state of Illinois, and the money is not going to come through unless your mayor reduces your budget. Here's the man, Carl E. Officer, Mayor of East St. Louis, Illinois. Now, Mayor, well, this is not going to please the folks here gathered. Here goes the media again, talking about all the bad stuff in East St. Louis. Roll this tape, Brian. It'll just take a second now. Bear up here. I'll tell you what is not so funny. This community across the river, the Mississippi River, from uh, metropolitan St. Louis, does have a lap full of problems. And as you watch this, you might ask yourself how many other cities are similarly situated. This is a town that once boasted a population of over 100,000. The 1990 census places the uh, number of souls living here now at around 40,000. It has a staggeringly high, look at the arch, see the arch across the river in St. Louis? You've heard of the other side of the tracks, this is the other side of the river. This was once a fabulous community, rich uh, as a result of being a major stockyard center. And all that began to fall about, apart around uh, the 1960. And not long ago, a young man was put into uh, jail here. He was beaten by another prisoner. He sued the city, and he won. The city couldn't afford to pay him, and they gave him City Hall. And all America read about this. Now steps forward the man at the center of the storm. Here's Carl E. Officer, mayor of East St. Louis, Illinois. Your current debt estimates for the city run as high as $40 million. The financial stress of the city worsened when you lost the judgment to Walter DeBow, the man about whom I just spoke, who is incidentally in a wheelchair and suffers uh, permanent brain damage as a result of what the court of the jury found to be negligence on the part of uh, the city jail. Uh, you had long pinned your hopes on the city on a, a $474 million waterfront development plan, and they busted the guys who wrote, underwrote the bonds for the development plan. I mean, it must only hurt when you laugh. I don't see any good news anywhere. Mayor, would you kindly uh, speak to these uh, comments, please? First of all, uh, Phil, welcome to East St. Louis. And I believe that, once again, my experience with the news media has taught me that your staff has done a brilliant job in setting up our auditorium, but has done a lousy job in briefing you. The city did not give away City Hall. The DeBow incident was an unfortunate situation. It was a situation in which one prisoner was brought in, left for about approximately 11 minutes with another prisoner. The one prisoner was intoxicated, Mr. DeBow. He then irritated the other prisoner and resulted in a fight, which probably happens in jails across America. But what didn't happen in jails across America and in courtrooms across America is that the courts in Belleville awarded a $4 million judgment for two men who had a fight in our jail. What even became more increasingly ridiculous is that the courts in Belleville allowed them to give away our city hall, which at that time was never an estimate on how much it was worth. Right. And within 23 minutes of me walking into the courtroom and walking out, I saw not only 267 acres of municipal property given away, but city hall given away. Yeah. And less than five days later, the plaintiff's attorney sold City Hall for less than $100 and to his ex-law partner to avoid any taxes. And I say to you and everyone else in America, 
This is not just East St. Louis. This is beginning to happen in Camden, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Oakland. What is this? What is this? <clears throat> um, uh, do you, do you uh, suggest here that, the, that this is a white racist court coming down on a predominant no. black court? I would not want to suggest that. I would want to emphatically point that that, that is a fact of America. That is life. However, I think it is important to point out that that is not just indicative to East St. Louis. We can go 40 or about 70 miles to the southeast of here. In the last two and a half months, we have been missing five adult black males from a community called Sykeston, Missouri. Now, I just came back from Cairo, Illinois, where I was in Saturday night. That's a microcosm of what can happen to America. Two things happened in 1968 in the state of Illinois that were tragic. One, they gave me a driver's license, and two, the Kerner Report indicated that America was moving toward two separate societies, one white, one black. Yes. America has ignored that fact and built missile silos, indust right. industrialized its military complex, and, um, and uh, completely ignored America's cities. Well. Mayor, you, your uh, observations about uh, racism and its influence on uh, municipalities that, are, that have become blacker and blacker cannot be disregarded, black, and it is on the record. Also. It does not follow, Mayor, however, that all of the people who preside over this municipality mm -hmm. can use that to excuse some of their own malfeasance. Well, we, that's not what you asked. Uh, well, there's some well, problems here, Phil. Mayor, did you, ha did you, I mean, what public relations firm would endorse your decision to promote a more than 50 percent raise in your own salary on the last budget at a time when this place is going down the drain okay. how could you do this well i can't answer the question what public relations firm but i would simply say if, if you would take a look at the entire budget and ask the question first i didn't promote a 50 percent raise for my salary what i simply asked was the same thing that the governor and every state representative and senator in this state received. And what I asked for was that every municipal employee from the janitor, the lowest paid janitor, $8,600 a year, which is four, about $1,000 less than the poverty level nationwide, right. Right. asked that my salary be adjusted with hers all the way up on a fair and equitable basis. Now, I took the figures from the Department of Labor, from the State Department of Labor, and from the State General Assembly itself. I didn't sit around and arbitrarily figure up my salary. One second, Phil. Because I think this is important. I don't need my salary. You need to understand that. Okay? Now, I did not come in, wait, I did not come into the mayor's office a pauper. I will not leave the mayor's office a pauper. I'm an intelligent, qualified professional in my own right. But I do think that one of the ways that you find out that you read out corruption in government is that you don't pay government officials low wages and invite corruption and graft. Yes, but to what comes first, your salary increase or police radios that work? If you're listening to your, your promotional people, Phil, who gave you this tape from KSDK Channel 5, one of the more racist organizations I know of in America, then they would have told you that I did not promote my salary. Yes. Mayor, you preside over an administration that has phone bills that have a lot of 900 numbers on it. Somebody's uh, making dirty phone Phil, calls from City Hall. Phil, let's go back again. You can go to its, its competitive news, uh, competitive television station. When they told me about the 900 phone calls, I'm glad you brought that up. Who in, the, in East St. Louis really needs to go dial a 900 number? We are surrounded with other communities, not this one, other communities with topless discos, topless this, but, topless that. But that's not municipal money, Mayor. But wait a minute, Phil. The bottom line on it is that here again, your research staff has given you the facts. There was not one phone bill in City Hall that we could attribute with a 900 number. I would like to say, I think you're doing a good job, call Officer. Uh, good morning, Phil. Good morning, Mary. I'd just like to say, when he first got in office, he was surrounded by, uh, surrounded by every official that could, could be here. But because he won't be dictated to, that's a lot of our <laughs> Mr. Officer, I'd like to know what's so wrong with the city that you can't live in it? What's the problem with the city? Obviously, you can't be talking about East St. Louis because I do live here. What'd you say, Mayor? Say, obviously, she couldn't be talking about East St. Louis. I do live here. This is my home. That's not the way I heard it, and that's not the way I see it. I hear that it's, it's so bad that you can't even live here. What's mm -hmm. the problem that you have to live over there across the river in the mansion house? I think what What's you might... What's wrong with the city, Mayor? 
let me answer your question in another way. Perhaps maybe uh, you might be going to the fact or report that I'm a single man. Now, if you uh, want to question where I sleep every night, perhaps maybe I can talk to you. and many people in here are shining examples of what East St. Louis is all about. I am a positive person. I believe East St. Louis will come up. I really do. We got State Community College here. We have uh, the uh, SIU, uh, East St. Louis campus, Unity Theater Ensemble, so many things. Yeah. And uh, I wanna, want uh, other people in here to bring up positive things about East St. Louis. Yes, ma'am. I agree. <laughs> Mr. Officer, I don't think there's anything wrong with the way you're running the city. It's, we have a mayor, a, a mayor in St. Louis that's doing a worse job than you, but nobody's over there talking about him. The gentleman earlier, uh, Mr. Officer, there was some gentleman, a gentleman earlier that stated that he was frightened to walk around this city. Mm -hmm. My grandfather had a church on 27th and Henrietta. One of the best places in, on this earth was East St. Louis. And I'm scared, I'm from St. Louis, and I'm scared to walk around over there because my skin puts me in trouble when I walk. Yeah. Hey, uh, Phil, Phil. I think what we need are jobs in East St. Louis. That's the answer to our problem. I think there's too much focus on the local politics. The fundamental problem in East St. Louis and other communities like it is it's been deserted by the American economic system. And I would go with what the other person said, you've got to get jobs. That's the answer. And the jobs have long ago run from East St. Louis. I feel that we need more citizen participation. We are doing it right now. This is what we need more of every day we need. I think sometimes there's a classic case, as we have this morning, when there's more to be said than from one person. We need to be looking at some positive kinds of things that are happening in the city, and we need to be able to accentuate some of that positive. Yes. So everybody yes. The only thing I want is unity, but I hope we don't ask for unity at the sake of settling for unity at the bottom of the barrel. Let's aim high. Well, Phil, let me, uh, let me address Please, what the lady uh, was coming to. I think that... The focus of, of this program, when your staff called me last week and asked for it, was that you wanted to focus in on the heartland and the problems in urban America. Let me tell you, if you go to Yazoo City, Mississippi, if you go to Detroit, Michigan, if you go across the river to St. Louis, yes. the majority of the property that is owned in urban America today are not owned by the residents of those communities. The majority of property in this country are not, is not even owned by Americans. The problem is our economic system, as this gentleman indicated, and that leads to social, psychological, educational woes. And one of the facts that I considered to do this show was perhaps maybe to focus out in other portions of the country because one of the things I do have a f firm grasp on is how to run the city. You tell me about all the debt we have. You talk about the crime. You talk about the other problems. The lady is focused in on where I sleep at night. The real problem in America well, it, it, happens to be that the Congress of the United States, you talk about my measly rate, pay raise, they give themselves a raise last year. They raise our taxes for beer, wine, and cigarettes. Nobody says a word. Everybody in this room, everyone watching in America today will have to pay for an SNL bailout, which the president's son is at the heart of, and I catch the heat. Come on, Phil, let's be real. We're talking about a system here that's got problems. In East St. Louis and other urban areas is the unequable distribution of the financial wealth in this country. And until we get out of other countries and start solving the problems here, it's going to continue. Yes. Um, I assume, uh, I, I, will you bear up for just one diversion here? We, have, uh, we are going to have as many as 400,000 young men and women, and we can presume with accuracy that a significant number of the uniformed personnel serving in the Persian Gulf come from East St. Louis, Illinois, and environs. How do you feel about this commitment of the United States military forces Let in the Persian Gulf? May I ask this audience? You're for it. No! 
No, You're why not should Florida? we be there? Phil, I'm not trying to be funny here, but I've been mayor long enough and listened to enough systems. This nation has the largest natural gas reserves in the world. It takes less money to convert our industry, our automobiles, and our total economic system over to natural gas, which is 10 times cheaper than barrels of gas we're selling right now in the Persian Gulf. Why not convert ourselves over so we're self-dependent, we're, we're independent rather, why not use those dollars instead of feeding and taking care of troops in Saudi Arabia for what reason? They said we're in Saudi Arabia because they invaded Kuwait. Kuwait has already been raped and pillaged by Saddam Hussein. They didn't say anything when they sent in troops. We invaded Grenada. We invaded Panama. And now, all of a sudden, we're supposed to buy the American public, buy this patriotism fact. The majority of the young men and women who will die in that Persian Gulf will be African Americans and Hispanics fighting for, <laughs> fighting for monies and for gasoline. When you come back here to East St. Louis, or you go back to New York City in, in Bed-Stuy, or you go to Camden, New Jersey, or you go to Oakland, California, gas will be at $2 a gallon. Black folks can't even afford a new car. And they're talking to us about the capital gains tax? Who in here gets the capital gains tax break? Come on. In 1968, Dr. King was murdered one week before the Poor People's Campaign. 1968 was the heart of the Vietnam War. With the same situation, it hasn't changed. The U.S. is committed to one thing. It's military-industrial complex. It has no commitment to the poor people. It has no commitment to the, uh, to the empowerment or the building of industry. And right here in East St. Louis, the city has been abandoned by the federal government. It's been abandoned by the state government. And those people are turning around and asking about whether Carl Officer gets $20 more a week versus worrying about spending the billions of dollars on military weapons that don't work. Bill says he'll be back in one moment. Good job, Carl. Thank you. must be dreaming. Finally, a cereal my whole family loves. Honey Bunches of Oats. Nothing else is that taste. Nothing else is that crunch. No one else mixes honey roasted oats in bunches with crispy flakes of corn and wheat. Honey Bunches of Oats. Everything about it tastes great. That's why we call it the best of the bunch. Honey Bunches of Oats. It brings families together because everyone loves it. Honey Bunches of Oats. That's why we call it the best of the bunch. With almonds, too. Heart disease is the nation's number one, number one killer. You make me feel so young. An estimated 60 million Americans have high serum cholesterol. You make me feel there are songs to be sung. Too much saturated fat. Saturated fat may be bad for your height. And every time I see you grin. Bad for your height. I am such a happy individual. For your heart. Even when I'm old and gray, I'm gonna feel the way I do today. Cause you make me feel so young. I promise, get heart smart. What kind of video should you rent tonight? Yeah, exactly. If we go rent a movie, it's 9 out of 10, it'll be a horror movie. But it's frighteningly easy for those under 17 to rent graphically violent films. Kids, when they see something on the screen, respond at a physiological level pretty much as though they were seeing something re in reality. Join Karen Foss as she shows you how your children might be affected by violent videos. A cover story series tonight on News Channel 5 at 10. You find truckloads of kids where Bob Evans comes from, so we have a notion or two what to do with them. We welcome kids with a special menu, meals under $2. You won't go hungry at Bob Evans, won't go broke either. The way it was is the way it is. Welcome to Bob Evans. Uh, in East St. Louis, Illinois, with Mayor Carl Officer. 
Well, I don't have to tell you, uh, being a mayor of any municipality today is no picnic, and uh, you do take your hits. Mm. Uh, do you carry a gun? Well, you know, Phil, I, I saw a promotion the other I should say frisk night. me before I ask you. Huh? No, no. You know, you'll find that we're warm, comfortable people here. Uh, I think what you have to, to realize is that, first of all, in the state of Illinois, every mayor is a commissioned police officer by virtue of his office. For over 20 years, I've been an expert marksman and sharpshooter. I'm licensed. Yes, sometimes I do carry a weapon because one of the things I do do, I'm an active police commissioner. I have the decision either to be active or passive, yeah. like other mayors in the state. Yeah. Now, the question is, do I need to carry a gun every day in East St. Louis? No. You know why I need to carry a gun? For those first persons who are outside, who are going to watch this show, who live down in the Ozarks, who are going to the Rednecks, who are someplace else, who are going to run away from me, okay? Uh, that's why I carry a gun. One thing when they take the city hall, but mm. another when they take the when they take the uh, land around it. I think that they took the land around it to stop you from putting in a waste facility, which would have been paid for yeah. with the five million dollars that you could have paid the boy with. Why yeah. wouldn't they wait till you sold it to in order to do, to take that money? Brother, back. Let me let me stop, Phil. 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 Hey, Phil. One second. One hey. second. You know, I, we need to address this one, because let's, let's don't let America think that this DuBose situation, you said we couldn't pay May the bill. May I just have a moment of your time to remind those around the country of the central nature of this story. If my recounting of it is incorrect, the mayor will uh, straighten me out. Definitely. Uh, here, guy, here comes a guy with an open beer can in his car. They throw the guy in a cell. He looks up to discover he's in the cell with another guy. Yes, the guy who was arrested with the open beer can had been drinking. The other man beats the hell out of this guy. They find this guy in a pool of blood on the floor of the cell. Now, come on, let's understand the facts here. The guy is permanently brain damaged, confined to a wheelchair, and now resides in a home for the handicapped in New Jersey at around over $200 a day. His lawyer sues the city and wins. Four million bucks the city can't afford to pay. Stop the judge right there. says you've Stop. got to auction off City Hall Stop in order right to there, pay Phil. this. Stop the right guy there, now Phil. owns City Hall and acreage around Phil. it on Phil. which location was to be built a refuge plant. Mayor, Phil. officer, sir. Phil, let's go back to some facts. You said City Hall, City couldn't pay. Fact one, the city entered into a judgment agreement. Like every other city in the state of Illinois, we have what they call judgment fund bonding. We passed bonds. Their attorney agreed to the bonds. He was paid over $656,000 as I sit here and speak, cash in his pocket. He agreed to the bonds. His lawyer agreed to the bonds. We have a judgment, it was signed. We had paid our bill. The money never even comes to the city. It goes directly to the trust company. The trust company pays him. They decide when they find out that this mayor takes 267 acres, which was the old Alcoa site, which Alcoa Aluminum abandoned the city, dumped his waste, and got the heck out of here. I find somebody in California to give me five million bucks for a piece of wasteland. All of a sudden, greedy politicians and lawyers in Belleville say, wait a minute, let's go take this five million dollars from officer and the people of East St. Louis, and to boot, we're gonna take their city hall at the same time and see what we can get them to negotiate with. We had paid our bill, we had an agreement. If, if you and I decide that this mic is worth five bucks and I tell you I'm gonna give you five for it, you decide you wanna come back because the, the judge is your buddy, you play golf with him, you hang out with him at the country club, you and your old lady share time together, and you wanna go get another five bucks from me, the heck with you, Phil, I'm gonna fight you and anybody else. And that's what we gotta do. Uh, good morning. I appreciate you, Mayor Officer, Thank and you. the problems in East St. Louis won't be solved overnight, but we've got to work together. Yeah. I think uh, one of our biggest problems, Carly is a good mayor, very good mayor, a gun in that, but our biggest problem is the crack in this city, and we cannot have Carl responsible for all of that. It takes all of us to get these people up out of here. I think uh, the mayor spends too much time talking about other cities and ignoring his own city. Well. Yes, Carl, I would like to ask you, what are you gonna do to get the city hall back? 
Well, I am very confident, very uh, comfortable with the corporate counsel of the city of East St. Louis, Mr. Vickers, and his uh, attempts to, uh, to get the judge merely to read the law. We have three cases on, uh, on the file now from the Illinois Supreme Court that clearly say that you cannot relieve a judgment by giving away municipal property, whether it's an ink pen owned by the city or a $5 million tract of land uh, to be developed by the city. I leave Over that here. to the city attorney. Okay, first of all, I'd like to say, I love East St. Louis. So I grew I. up here. I'm a class of 75 East St. Louis Senior High School. My question to Carl is, if you're gonna run again, what are you gonna do to get the city moving forward? It's time to get all the negativism out of East St. Louis and get some of the positive back into East St. Louis. Well, one of the things I try to not make a, a decision on, maybe I'm not like other politicians, I don't gear my decisions based on politics. I gear my decisions based on what I think my conversation is every morning with God, and I do what's right from there. I don't worry about uh, what other elected officials, I don't take polls. The only polls that I think are significant are the Polish people of this country. Yes, you, uh, you, you're glad Jim Edgar won uh, the, the gubernatorial race in Illinois I'm over pleased. Neil Hardigan. I'm you pleased. are pleased that a Republican won. Well. Not necessarily a Republican. I didn't look at Jim Edgar as being a Republican. Jim Edgar is not perfect. Uh, neither was Neil Hardigan. My support for Jim Edgar based, was based on two factors. One, uh, two other mayors. One was here today, Riley Owens, who I respect tremendously, Mayor of Centerville, Illinois, and Mayor uh, Sylvester Jackson and I. We looked at the surcharge. This school that you're in right now, this school district would lose $5 million if, Jim, if uh, Neil Hardigan had been elected governor and kept his promises. The school system that you're in one district 189 is supported in four cities east st louis centerville alton washington park the school system could not operate phil more than one maybe six weeks total out of the school year on the property taxes from the people of all four of those municipalities they must have state and federal aid now i cannot look honestly into the citizens eyes and say support this guy because i'm a democrat i'm a registered democrat and i want to be one but at the same point in time I'm not going to follow anybody just because he's a Democrat. I'm going to follow somebody who's going to bring yeah. something to our uh, Mayor, <laughs> yeah. just a couple of things. What percentage of your uh, community of East St. Louis, Illinois, is, is on welfare? I would say somewhere in the neighborhood of 64 to 65 percent of the households in this city are headed by single women and are headed uh, to the fact that they may not be on welfare, they may be on SSI, they may be on, on some other form of dependent uh, coverage, and some, we have a black market uh, that is unreal. Persons who are forced to be able to pay their utility bills, which are r ridiculous in this community, to right. do day work yes. in Belleville and other communities right. and have to be paid cash because they cannot be paid in a check yes. because this federal government, the federal government penalizes yeah. Phil, one of the things, now I've got to make this point, you asked that question. You need to take a look at when we're going throughout the America over this next several weeks, talk to the health people throughout the communities and ask them and go and ask how many people, black and white, and particularly el elderly women, have been reduced from their Social Security supplement payments and who cannot get on dialysis machines, who have been re refused medical treatment, pharmaceutical care, because this Congress, this federal government, under the auspices of the world's worst president in history, Ronald Reagan, killed America. Now, that's the fact of life. Under, under Ronald Reagan, yeah. we, lost, so we lost revenue sharing, yeah. which took about $4 million out of this community. I'm in the funeral business. I can see direct results today of well, uh, Reagan's welfare policies. He believed that everyone on welfare was bad. Most people on welfare are not there because they want to be there. That's part of slavery. That's part of this country. We're in East St. Louis, Illinois with its mayor, and we'll be back in a moment. Good evening. I'm Karen Foss. You're watching East St. Louis Mayor Carl Officer defend his city. Tonight on the Night Beat, Deanne Lane will take you to a part of East St. Louis many people don't even know exists. Plus... Let's go. Do it. Now, do it. I'm Jeff Fowler. All drug busts do not happen in big cities like St. Louis. Tonight at 10, we'll look at how one small Illinois town is fighting drugs. Join us right after Donahue for News Channel 5 at 10.
I'm Karen Foss. And I'm Dick Ford, inviting you and your family to join News Channel 5 in kicking off the Christmas season in a big way. Join us right after the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade for all the marching bands, most gorgeous floats, and the biggest and friendliest balloons you've ever seen. And it's all in stereo. And with any luck, Santa will be here too. So come on down to downtown St. Louis Thanksgiving morning. Or if you can't, share the morning with us in the Christmas in St. Louis Parade. Thanksgiving morning at 9, only on News Channel 5. The arena will shake, rattle, and roar tonight, 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 tonight. and Saturday night. To the all-new U.S. Hardline Cattle Line of Monster Truck Racing Championship Fall Festival of Speed. 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 The lineup is madness on wheels. 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 See Bigfoot, Evil Force, Eliminator, The Rocket, plus Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher, and more. 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 Plus one racers of every description will be running flat out for the giant cash purse. Tickets available at the box office and all tickets now locations. Tonight, 8 p.m., the St. Louis Arena, the mud will fly, and Hellfire running monster machines will thunder, 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 thunder. Last year, the Illinois Lottery lengthened Michael Jordan's hang time. This year, we leave it in your hands. The 1991 Michael Jordan Flip Book Day Book. And make sure this is not the only book you pick up. Say yes to graduation. 120 years ago, the Humane Society of Missouri opened with the purpose of caring for animals. And for 120 years, they've done that with shelters, veterinary services, as well as a spay and neuter education program. And with the pet adoption program, the Humane Society is working to bring families and pets together. Hello, I'm Deanne Lane. Call them to learn how you can get involved. The more you know about the Humane Society, the more you'll know about their dedication to animals. At News Channel 5, we'll show you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good morning. I have a daughter over in Saudi Arabia, and I disagree for her to be there because the British press has said Kuwait keeps slaves. So I disagree with us being there, and I hope our Congress does not sign a declaration of war. Yes. Yeah. Hey, uh, good morning. I admire your bravery, call officer. Thank you. Phil, Phil, yeah. I want to ask it? you a question. You want to ask me a question? Yeah. Yes. You know, I think it's important um, if we're looking at the perspective of this whole week of why we're here, I, I need to ask, why was East St. Louis chosen to be on a holiday? The reason I ask that question, seems like every time I pick up a newspaper in the last two years, Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, uh, and this recently, this last year, uh, 60 Minutes decided that I was so popular that they had to run me on Easter before the King of Kings. Why are you here <laughs> on... Uh, on Veterans Day, when nobody's working today, yeah, and why why do we grant? Well, I assure uh, you, there's no connection between our being here and the holiday. Okay, if I we were smart, that, it would have been. That question. Uh, let me say how pleased I am to see as many as what do we got here? How many folks? About four thousand. About four thousand people turn out. Mayor, if I went to Trenton, New Jersey, they'd want to know why I didn't go to East St. Louis, Illinois. If I went to we're Gary, Indiana, they'd say, how come you didn't go to well, uh, we're pleased that you're Altoona, East Pennsylvania? East. Well, you're pleased that I'm here. I'm very So happy. I shouldn't read a negative uh, spin no. on your question. You well, I thank you. No. I thank you. You're allowed to speak even though you're in the front row. All right. I'm executive director of the Boys Club of East St. Louis for 26 years. I don't carry a gun. I've been on the school board for nine years. And there are 16,000 reasons why East St. Louis is one of the best communities in, 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 the, in the world. Okay. Um, I want to just ask a question. I want to confirm, uh, confirm what he was talking about. You asked him a question about people being on uh, public aid and yeah. stuff like that. I would like for Americans all over the world, and especially here, to give us loans and things when we want it, especially if we're working mothers. Yes. And uh, so we can send our boys and girls to college yes. and finish. Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, uh, the, the federal government is going to say we can't do it because we don't have the money. But, Phil, the federal And that you've got to well, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Phil, Phil. And oh. uh, not a few taxpayers are going to say, I don't have it so hot either. Everybody's got to get together. Yeah. To which statement the mayor would respond how. And what will say, what what happens is that I turn on the nightly news, and so do you, and I see the federal government saying to me that they're going to loan billions of dollars to Czechoslovakia, billions of dollars to Poland, billions of dollars to Warsaw, and these are persons 
for economic development, and, and I go back to the racial question, I don't mean to harp on it, but I did not see them loaning those dollars to Panamanian people, to people in South, Southeast Asia, people of color. They want to do it only in those markets that have opened up recently in Eastern Europe, and they tell the American taxpayer, many of which are sitting in this room today, hard-working black Americans who are doing their best to try to raise their children, right. defend their churches, and they're sending our tax dollars over there, right. and I have nothing wrong with foreign aid, but now let's, let's make this final point. If you were to talk to Reverend Jesse Jackson, you were to talk to Congressman Bill Clay across the river, you will see that this government, this federal policy under Ronald Reagan and George Bush, they will send proportionally more dollars to Eastern Europe than they will to help those in South Africa, in Zambia, and other places. Why is it that we have to get the short end of the stick when we built this nation? Yeah. And how come you don't develop your riverfront property? You've got one of the most beautiful riverfront properties it's really unmatched in America. You look across at that arch, I'm gonna you look at that you, beautiful skyline. And I'm going to tell you Holy why. cow, I know a lot of rich folks love to live there and have and, an and penthouse you know what? looking over the river. And every, ever since the very first month I became mayor, I've had persons in downtown St. Louis who want to take me to the Missouri Athletic Club. And you know what they said to me? Mayor, we can develop this, we can do this. All we want is this, this, and this. I'm simply telling, and then they had the audacity to tell me, how can you stand seeing all those railroad tracks and weeds? Let me tell you, I grew up next door to a coal yard, and it's still there. And I live with railroad tracks and weeds, but I'm not about to sell out the education that my parents were able to give me so, so, so that when they tell me that you can have this, black folks in East St. Louis won't own nothing on that riverfront. All they'll do is wind up being able to clean up. If we're going to develop it, it's going to be developed where we get at least 25% of everything that's operating there, or we can still look at railroad checks and weeds, we'll keep making it. Now, we got to own something. How much? We're what not the talking percentage? about having a piece. we got to own a piece of the pie. What percentage do you want? I want at least 25% ownership from everything from top to bottom. I think that is the minimum to ask for. Black folks in America don't need jobs. We all had jobs in 1860. There's no such thing as unemployed slave. We need to own something. We need to own a piece of this rock. Bill, I'd just like to say, I'd just like to say we've got to get back to the basics. We've gotten away from that. Our environment plays a big part on the way we produce. We've got to start raising our children right. It's got to go back into the homes. We've got to go How into the homes. When, the, when, when dad can't get a job. Exactly, but we when need neighbors. That's why, that's why the Bible says love your neighbor. You've got to start helping when it's necessary. You've got to go out here and help your neighbor. Uh, Mr. Officer said that 64 to 65 percent of the uh, household was headed by single women. Where are all these good black men at? You know, I In think jail. that's one of the things that we need to do is bring the black man back into the uh, household. Build some values. All right. I am a resident of East St. Louis. I'm a resident of East St. Louis, Illinois. I intend to stay here till the very end. But let me tell you, I've raised my family here, and I love it dearly. But this is the most people I've seen in all my life in East St. Louis. Where have all these people been? Waiting on Donahue. Let me see. Wait this woman, you, you don't vote. You don't register. You don't go to school board meetings. You're, you're not civically involved. We got a book on you, East St. Louis, Illinois. Now you're going to have to plead guilty to that. And while I'm making the point, we should say that uh, a lot of other pre uh, uh, communities cannot preach to you. This is a problem which pervades America. I do not want this woman angry with me. Let me just give her a chance to speak before all the blood runs from your hand. Well, thank you. Yes. I just want to say, as I said before, our city went down when, before our mayor was born. I think you're about 38 years old, am I right, mayor? 38, yeah. And this city started going down 40 years ago. Yes. Now, we can't blame everything on our mayor. Yes. And mayor, I'm with you 100%. I don't care who run, because nobody can beat you. And we'll be back in just a moment. There's a new generation that not only believes in living a long life, 
but in living it well. And believe me, now there's a new generation of food designed to do just that. It's Stouffer's Right Course, with a lot less of what your body doesn't need, like fat, cholesterol, and sodium, and more of what it wants. Great taste, and a lot of it from Stouffer's. So why wait? Join the people who really live. Get on the right course. Stouffer's Right Course. It was in this Sioux City cornfield in July 1989 that the tragic flight of United 232 came to an end. But the scars and memories still remain for the survivors, their rescuers, and the more than 100 families who lost a loved one that day. I'm Kay Quinn in Sioux City. We'll revisit some of the heroes of that unforgettable day, Sunday night on News Channel 5 at 10. <laughs> the thought of taking bad-tasting medicine makes kids feel sick. But not grape-flavored Dimatap cold medicine. You'll like this. Hmm, <coughs> a cough. Or new Dimatap DM for colds with coughs. Dimatap DM is a combination of doctor-recommended Dimatap plus a proven cough suppressant with a pleasing grape taste. Open up. Dimatap. It relieves kids as well as colds, as well as coughs. Between these kids and my job, I don't have time to cook. Lee's Famous Recipe is the expert when it comes to great taste. With Crispy Plus, Famous Recipe and Oven Roasted, three great chicken varieties you can't cook at home. Everybody's picking up Lee's three-piece chicken dinner, just $2.99, with two vegetables or salads and a biscuit. Lee's, good food that's good for your family. That's why everybody's picking Lee's chicken. Looking for something fun? Then jump to it, because everything you're looking for is on sale at Best Buy. Friday night from 5 to 9, and all day Saturday. Everything you want, everything you need, everything in stock. Best Buy. Everything is on sale. Okay, I just want to say, uh, call uh, Mr. Okay, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Yeah. Officer, I'd like to ask you about your leadership style. Yeah. And, you know, you're so arrogant. And, you know, do we really not have to have a lot of money to improve our city and our city image? Well, you know, let me, let me tell you something. When people call me arrogant, I, um, I have to respond back to this, this standpoint. I was born in a household that I learned a Christian ethic, but I also was taught from my mother and my father that I did not have to take a back seat to anybody. They, they never told me, they never told me that I was better than anyone else. Now, I happen to be a proud of the high schools I went to and graduated from, which I was the first and only black to do so, and all the way up to Harvard University. I'm confident, I'm good at what I do. Now, that may frighten, they may, that may frighten some of my political adversaries. That may frighten a, a white newsman who just barely got out of journalism school. But I'm not going to let you tell me that I'm not intelligent and I'm not, I'm not good. I, I, may, I may have I'm made... I'm not going to take that from you. You are intelligent. You're a great speaker. My point. But you're not in touch with the community. You're not in touch with the public. You're not in touch with us. Well... I don't care. Hey, this is my know, opinion. My I opinion. appreciate that. Um, please, please, wait, wait, wait. I think... I think if there's any one thing that we have learned is, and that is let you have an opportunity to have your opinion. I may not be in touch with your community, I may not be in touch with your world, but then at the same point in time, maybe you need to take a look at my world. Okay, I want to just say that I grew up around the corner from the same coal yard you did. The people mm -hmm. here in East St. Louis need to wake up keep their eyes open day and night. I've been in the streets at night and I've seen, I'm not prejudiced, white people with tape measures and everything, measuring property off at night while we are sleeping. Wake up. Yeah. All right. Mr. Officer, you've been in office 10 or 12 years. 11 years. You blame Belleville, Congress, Washington, Illinois. When are you going to accept a little responsibility of your own and say you haven't done the job? I, uh, wait, well, hey, Phil, Phil, let's, let me respond back to the gentleman. I think that the gentleman's absolutely correct. 
I think that as the mayor, uh, there are some shortcomings that I have, but I'm human, probably like you. Now, if I were perfect, then I would not sit up here and take any blame. But I do believe that there are a consistent amount of good neighbors in Bellevue, Fairview, St. Louis, and it's not based strictly upon race. But we cannot ignore or discount the fact that we have a racist society that we live in, and it becomes a fact of matter that both black and white must come together to choose new leadership for us in Belleville and in Springfield and in Washington to help all of us, because what they're gonna do is segregate us so bad, separate us so bad, that we're gonna wind up tearing each other apart over nothing. Get over here. My grandfather, attorney Frank Summers, and the officer family have been friends for lifelong. When the white banks would not loan money to blacks to build their houses, the officer family would loan money. When black banks would not send our students who were top students to school, the officer family would give the money. When blacks did not have money for any of the uh, businesses that they started, the officer family gave money, gave it away, almost to the point of them going out of business. And we're with you, Carl Officer. We will not forget those type of things you've done. The yeah. comments you made to the lady over there about your bedroom, nobody's really interested in your bedroom. I haven't heard you answer not one direct question. What we want to know is what is your intentions for the people of East St. Louis? You've been in office 12 years and I haven't seen not one thing that you have rectified. You say you don't need your salary, then give it back so they can pick up our trash. East St. Louis, I'm not from St. Louis, but I've been in St. Louis for three years and I haven't heard nothing or seen nothing you have done. The young, the black, the black man is an endangered uh, uh, group in this country. It seems like we're always attacked no matter where we're at, no matter how good a job we've done. Now, I have been in the corporate, and I've been in the military, and I've only had one black man to say anything good to make me feel a part of a group. And I think the same thing that has happened to me is happening to Carl because he's in that position. They don't want to see it. We could not exist this long if the man wasn't doing something good for us. Why is the city broke? You know, I have never seen a city that was broke. Why is it broke? Why you can't pay the city workers? Yes, sir. I'd like to say, yes, sir. I'm from the city of St. Louis, and I'd like to say I am proud to see that the resident here of the city of St. Louis are not going for the okie doke and do not allow the negative attitude about your mayor be, brain, be inflicted in your brain. Carl, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good and work. And we'll be back in just a minute. Good evening, I'm Karen Foss. Is your smile bright enough? This is a tool that's commonly used in the artistic world. Now it has a new use. At 10, we'll show you how this new technique will put a sparkling smile on your face. Good evening, I'm Deanne Lane. You're watching Phil Donahue paint a picture of gloom and doom for East St. Louis. But some residents argue that picture is not accurate. I'll show you why in about 30 minutes on News Channel 5 at 10. Join us right after Donahue. Yo, what up, Ski? This is Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. You can win a chance to be the Fresh Prince of your hometown and live it up here in Bel Air. Here's how. Watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air on Channel 5, Mondays at 7. Then listen to Magic 108 to win a trip to see the Fresh Prince. Round trip air transportation on USA. That could be you. It's midnight. Do you know who is filling doctor's prescriptions at this hour? Who? Your 24-hour Walgreens. That's who. The arena will shake, rattle, and roar tonight, 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 tonight. and Saturday night to the all-new U.S. Army Cattle Line of Monster Truck Racing Championship Fall Festival of Speed. 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 The lineup is madness on wheels. 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 See Bigfoot, Evil Force, Eliminator, The Rocket, Plus Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher, and more. 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 Plus one racers of every description will be running flat out for the giant cash purse. Tickets available at the box office and all tickets now locations. Tonight, 8 p.m., the St. Louis Arena. The mud will fly and hellfire running monster machines will thunder. 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 Good-looking car, huh? 
Hi, I'm Fred Fairfellow. It's a beauty, isn't it? Sure is, and we'd like to have this new car, but we just can't afford the down payment. What down payment? Our special Marolas zero out-of-pocket buying or leasing plan, if you qualify, will have you sitting behind the wheel of a new car right away. Wow. Yep, that's our on-the-spot delivery. Drive it right out, folks. At Marolas Chevrolet, we make dreams come true. That's the Marolas magic. How many incredible holiday values can you find at Rothman Furniture? Hundreds of them. And that's not all. Incredible store-wide values, plus no money down, no payments for six months. Don't miss it. Louis, Illinois, yes? East St. Louis is responsible for East St. Louis, not Carl Officer. Carl Officer cannot do East St. Louis by itself. We got to help. Still, a lot of people don't want to accept responsibility for their own mistakes. They want to pass them along to someone else. Accept your own that you made mistakes. And accept and, and wake up and be informed. Don't go on what somebody told you. Read and learn yourself. Call officer, is the city of East St. Louis going to a managerial form of government? And if so, how will that affect your power? Well, a managerial form of government, as I understand it, the man city manager still has to be responsive to the board of aldermen and the mayor. We have really technically been under managerial form once before, and I think it might be a very positive aspect yeah. of the city. Mayor, may I just ask you uh, once again, uh, or make this following observation? Sure. Um, it's awful hard to quarrel with your condemnation of the influence of racism in America. The Kerner Commission spoke the truth. We do have two separate Americas. May I ask you once again to please comment on the following observation. Okay. No matter what criticism is extended to you, you blame racism. No matter what is said to you, you're the victim of a uh, racist society and have to take no responsibility for your own behavior. You preside over a city with missing money. You preside over a city with personal abuse of public telephones. You are the mayor of a city with no, police no, cars wrong. that have radios that don't work, mm -hmm. garbage that is not picked up, and every time someone asks you about it, you say, it's Reagan's fault. When are you going to step up to the plate and tell us what you're going to do about that? All right. Well, let me go back to let me go back to the points that you raised. When it comes when it comes to refuge collection, for example, it has always been my belief that the city should not pick up garbage. That the city should oversee garbage pickup. And one of the things that I did as the mayor was to try to make sure that we did have it. Three years ago, everyone's garbage in the city was collected at a better rate than it was when the city collected it. We went to a referendum in 1965. The people of East St. Louis voted 83 percent not to have the city pick up the garbage. The, the city fathers at that time decided to do it. They put 45 black men out of business who used to pick up garbage, who used to pick it up on the pickup trucks. And we'll be back in just a moment. Orifix really sticks. Orifix special denture adhesive holds so tight you can feel it working. So denture wearers who use Orifix can do what they feel like doing. Orifix really sticks. A little cheddar makes a plain potato. Mmm, scrumptious. But without the cheddar cheese. Uh, nothing. So add a little cheddar cheese. Oh, thank you. And add a lot of taste. Cheese makes all the difference. What kind of video should you rent tonight? Yeah, like if you go rent a movie, it's 9 out of 10, it'll be a horror movie. But it's frighteningly easy for those under 17 to rent graphically violent films. Kids, when they see something on the screen, respond at a physiological level pretty much as though they were seeing something re in reality. Join Karen Foss as she shows you how your children might be affected by violent videos. A cover story series tonight on News Channel 5 at 10. 
The arena will shake, rattle, and roar tonight, 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 and Saturday night to the all-new U.S. Armored Camel Mile Monster Truck Racing Championship Fall Festival of Speed. 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 The lineup is madness on wheels. 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 See Bigfoot, Evil Force, Eliminator, The Rocket, plus Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher, and more. 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 Plus one racers of every description will be running flat out for the giant cash purse. Tickets available at the box office and all the tickets now locations. Tonight, 8 p.m., the St. Louis Arena. The mud will fly and hellfire running monster machines will thunder. 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 Presenting the London Fog Wool Coat. My coat is made of wool. It's wool from London Fog. You heard me right, don't have a fright. It keeps me warm both day and night. It's wool from London. London Fog Wool's now 240 at Famous Bar. It's time travel. It's almost instant recall. This program is about people. It's about us. We take you back. The feeling, the texture, the story behind the story. Talk to somebody who was there. How do they look at that event now? Time capsules, memory triggers, right in your own living room five nights a week. This is a program I think you're going to want to see. Join us on Instant Recall. Instant Recall, weeknights at 11.30 only on News Channel 5. Broadway, New York, New York, 1007, or call 212-227-READ. Next, Donahue and Heartland from Eastern Maryland. Health officials, ministers, parents, and students collide. Should we give free condoms to kids? Thank you very much, East St. Louis Senior High School, and your principal, Sam Morgan, has been very, very courteous, as has assistant principal, Cornelius Perry. Never call them a hot, hot dogs. You've been wonderful and didn't even want to go on TV. Assistant, uh, uh, also administrative assistant to the mayor, uh, Laverne Wizard, has been wonderful. And we better not end this program without saying that the East St. Louis high school football team is 12-0, number one ESPN. Congratulations, Coach Bob Shannon. Yes, sir. Hey, Carl, I'd just like to say everybody want to dump it on you and say you the one that caused the problem. You didn't cause it. Carl ain't the one. a black and white issue, but the surrounding communities like St. Louis and Fairview Heights have no problem taking our green taxpayer dollars. What happens to the lottery money? You know, our education for our kids is at stake. Where is that lottery money going? What, what's happening with that? We got a lot of money there. Where's that? i like to say, um, brother, just be strong, and I'm sorry to sister disrespect you in public. So just be strong, all right? I think the mayor is doing a damn good job. <laughs> This is only to the East St. Louis citizens. Yes. Why don't we support council meeting like this on Wednesday nights and we can support the politicians with their decisions. Yes, yes, yes. I want to know how many white people can they get to come over here and work for what, what Merrick Carl officer is working for. Service is provided and promotional fees paid by the following. Why is it that Dulcolax has it. The other leading laxatives don't. Only Dulcolax has a comfort coating designed to protect your stomach. Comfort coated Dulcolax. It's Jed's limousine service. Jed keeps his promise on quality and excellence in all respects. Jed's is an affiliate of the Music Express Limousine Network.